You know who it is, my name is Sun Wu, and this is the OP1 Fields new vocoder engine. And in this video we are gonna go through how it works and what these parameters are actually doing. But first off let me quickly try to explain how a vocoder functions in general. Usually a vocoder has two types of signals. One being the carrier, that usually is the oscillator of a synthesizer, and the second one being the modulator, which in this case is your voice. And independently from another, these two sources go through a series of bandpass filters that are set to different frequencies, but rather than one filter being after the other, they are in parallel, meaning that all of them are getting the full signal of my voice or of the synthesizer. So let's say for argument's sake there are three bandpass filters. So my voice is going through a bandpass filter that is for the high frequencies, one for the mid frequencies and one for the low frequencies. And the same for the synthesizers oscillators. Bandpass filter for high frequencies, mid frequencies and low frequencies. And now depending on what kind of sounds I make with my voice, I'll either have more signal going through the high band, through the mid band or through the low band or any kind of combination of these. This information is then used in order to produce amplitude envelopes for the three bandpass filtered signals of the synthesizer's oscillator. That means that if my voice, for example, was loudest in the mid frequency band, it would open up the same band on my synthesizer, meaning it would raise the volume of that filtered signal and therefore reproduce my voice with the synthesizer's oscillator. And of course, it doesn't have to be only three different bandpass filters, but there is a selectable number of bandpass filters. And the more bandpass filters you have, the more accurately you can reproduce your voice. All right, but now let's have a look at how this specific vocoder works. First off, up here we've got the microphone icon and it's showing us a gain meter. So this is the modulator for our vocoder. We can also select another modulator if we press shift and the microphone and select the radio for example and go back here you can see the radio same for USB however the resample option doesn't work because it would cause feedback and of course you can see although I'm talking we are not getting a vocoder noise yet and that's because I gotta trigger the synthesizers oscillator first in order to modulate it with my voice but Okay, so let's start with the first parameter right here, which is the blue parameter. This one is a one knob synth engine. When it's all the way counterclockwise, there's an S right there. And this produces a single oscillator, which basically is a saw wave. And once we turn it clockwise, what I think is happening is that it introduces a second oscillator that's an octave above our main oscillator, as well as starting to introduce more noise and some kind of chorus detuning effect. And then when we turn it even further, we end up basically at just noise, which I guess is what the N stands for. And the whole thing back again. Now you probably noticed that when I press a key and speak, it doesn't really sound anything like a vocoder. And that's because now we got to talk about this parameter right here which is the number of bands that we are processing our signal through. And as I said before, the more bands you have in a vocoder, the more clearly you can reproduce the human voice. So right now I'm only using a single band, so I'm basically just producing a normal oscillator or a normal synthesizer noise. But as I start to turn it up, the voice will be more clearly and I'm gonna continue speaking. I am speaking right now. 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 I am spea
right now. I am speaking right now, and I guess now you can understand me more clearly. As you can hear, it really makes a difference how many bands you have to your vocoder, and you can go from vocoder-like sounds. Well, we can talk all day about this if you want. To just synthesize a noise. Next up, we've got the format parameter, which shifts the frequencies of the filters and therefore can make my voice sound deeper or higher without me having to change my voice. This is my voice right now. This is my voice right now. And finally, the last parameter is a mix knob. If it's fully counterclockwise, all I'm hearing is the synthesizer noise. But if I start to turn it, you can start hearing my original voice. You can start hearing my original voice. And that's already it for the single parameters of the synthesizer engine. Now let's see what kind of sounds we can make with this. This is my first patch. This is my first patch. This is the first This patch is using all the available frequency bands and I've introduced the second oscillator and therefore also a lot of the detuning effect that comes with it. And added to that I've got the phone effect which pitches my vocoder signal up by a fifth and I've got the mix knob modulated that means mainly I'm hearing my original vocoder signal but then it introduces a little bit of that fifth up every once in a while when it's going up and down. So this is what it sounds like again. And if I want to introduce more glitches, I can turn these two parameters. And this is what I call the jazz drummer patch. Because, as you can hear, it sounds very much like a brushed drum kit. And I've made it like this. First, we've got the oscillator turned all the way to noise. I've only got one of the bands active. And I added a little bit of spring reverb. That's it. And finally, the last patch. <laughs> This parameter right here is modulated by an LFO and on top of that I've got a little bit of cow effect. And that's it for this quick tutorial on the OP1's new vocoder engine. I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more, check the link up there or down there to contact me for private online lessons. Other than that, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, a comment down below, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss the next one. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful time. Peace.